In this game dev experiment, we'll go over all the mistakes I made trying to code a simple little Rubik's cube using 3JS. I know usually I try to explain how you can code these types of projects yourself, but this time around, I'm not fully sure how I got it to work. So instead of trying to explain it, I'll just showcase a ton of demos. And if you want to check it out yourself, you can just head over to GitHub, which I linked down in the description box below. Cool, let's get started. So the first mistake I made was not rotating the faces of these cubes. So if I click a cube, this is gonna be sort of the anchor point that I use to run my command. So if I press W, it's gonna go up. If I press S, it's gonna go back. If I press A, it's gonna rotate this way. And of course, if I press D, it's gonna rotate this way. And you know I can press Q to rotate the face this way and E to rotate this way. So basically you guys can see here that no matter what happens, this cube is always gonna be correct. Let me just do a quick little demo with all of them just cause it looks kind of cool. And you can see here that um, no matter what you do, this cube is basically unsolvable. And this was basically the first mistake that I made was not actually rotating the face of the cube. Now I'm rotating the faces of these cubes. So what we want to do is basically combine these two efforts. I put both of those methods together and I got something working, you know, it started to look good. And I was like, whoa, hey, maybe I got this. Maybe I can actually make a Rubik's Cube video this week. This was on Wednesday, mind you. And then this happened. Okay, that is really weird, right? what is going on i was actually about to give up on making a video this week because i was like there's no way i can figure this out i was watching three blue one brown khan academy linear algebra videos because this must be some matrix multiplication thing i spent all of wednesday debugging this issue and i could not figure it out and of course i had to get a good night's sleep on wednesday night wake up in the morning today thursday and yeah i found the one line bug that was causing this i was rotating on the wrong axis i was rotating every single one of these on their own individual cubed axis but what i had to do was rotate them on the world axis and that way they don't do this weird thing that they're doing and after all was said and done, I finally figured out how to solve this Rubik's Cube. Now it basically works as a Rubik's Cube. And you know, you can do all the rotations and, and stuff like that. Obviously, I didn't implement the ability to undo moves or uh, play specific combinations. So you can't really randomize this thing or anything. But you know, this is a basic little Rubik's Cube. And it's something that uh, I think is pretty cool. You can sort of rotate it however you want, and it does all the rotations as you would expect. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. I'll leave you guys off with another Rubik's Cube animation. Be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.